the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible is one story. It's holy enough in our lives. Day 111 to Samuel 23 to 24. The census in Numbers versus David's census. Before dying, David left his last words. Realizing his mistakes about taking the census, he truly repented and accepted his punishment. First point. David received God's covenant through the prophets Moses, Samuel, Nathan, and God. All throughout his life, David always prayed for the heavens doors to open. David always valued God's covenant and was always keen to listen to the words of the prophets. David never let go of the laws of the kingdom of priests recorded by Moses. He always sang of God's laws, God's teachings, and God's covenant recorded in the Pentateuch. David lived his life by following God's commands, and he received a covenant through the prophet Samuel. David also received God's covenant through the prophet Nathan. David also accepted his punishments told by the prophet God after he took census with the long intentions. As such, God always used his prophets to set a kingdom of priests straight and also to deliver his message. Second point, a courageous soldier makes a courageous soldier. All of God's people in the Bible experienced fear, but they all managed to succeed by asking God for courage. David also experienced many instances of deep fear, but he managed to overcome them through seeking God's help. David also managed to encourage those who were around him to become courageous soldiers. The central army of David was led by Joab and his 30 soldiers. Other notable mentions are Benaya as well as the 37 soldiers who were always alongside David. David made note of the soldiers who were particularly at his side and loyal during his battles. Third point. The census taken during Numbers was different to the census taken by David. Census was taken soon after Exodus in order to set up a kingdom of priests. It was in order to count those who were able to go to battle. It was also in order to organize the logistics of the offering. It also had the intent of finding out the number to distribute the land of Canaan. But the purpose of David's census was in order to find out how much he managed to expand his army. David commanded Joab to take a census. This behavior was drastically different to the David in the early days when all he believed in was God. In other words, David took a census not with the heart to do something for a kingdom of priests, but entirely to see his own accomplishments. David already knew that battles did not depend on numbers, but on God. But in his later years, David had a proud moment and wanted to find out how much his military power had grown. Fourth point, David realized that his emphasis on numbers was long. When David repented of his sins after taking census, God told David through the prophet God that he was to choose one of the three punishments. The first was seven years of famine. The second was being chased for three months. 
The third was a disease for three days. David chose the third punishment. Due to this, 70,000 Israel people died because of the disease. This was the penalty for the price of David taking census. When 70,000 people died because of him, David knelt down and thoroughly repented once more and prayed for the punishment to be brought on him and his household rather than on the people. Fifth point. Mount Moriah, where Abraham and Isaac offered their offering, became the grounds for David and Solomon's temple a thousand years later. When God heard David's repentance, he sent the prophet God to tell David that he was to make an offering to receive forgiveness. So David set up an altar on the threshing floor of Arauna to God to ask for forgiveness. The place David offered this was the place Abraham had offered Isaac to God a thousand years ago. This was also the place where Solomon later built the Jerusalem temple. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.